Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, Luis. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for that like. Now, ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the news that is coming from City Mochari, Nairobi County? It is so sad as we are being told that now 247 unidentified bodies recorded in between that day of demonstration of Genesis till date. And these bodies are unidentified. I want to say something that is very crucial and where Miguna Miguna is being vindicated. Earlier on, date 24th, July 2024, Miguna Miguna posted in his social media handles, saying this, Why is William Ruto murdering innocent Kenyans in Zimmerman and Gidurai like he did in Gidurai on June 25th, 2024, then incinerated and criminated, uh, crimin cremated their bodies at the Kahawa barracks. Patriots must rise up and put an end to Ruto's mass killing by forcing him out of power. Ruto must go, Ruto must resign. Remember, that was the statement of Miguna Miguna when there was this issue where young men and women were killed during the demonstration. And because the government of the day never wanted this issue to come out clearly, so Miguna Miguna, according to his allegation, is that people were murdered in Zimmerman, Nairobi, and Gidurai like chicken. And the same thing happened the 25th, June 2024, the demonstration that made William Ruto to withdraw the finance bill 2024. I want to say here, ladies and gentlemen, be keen with this government of William Samuel Ruto. When we are saying William Ruto must go, we know why we are saying. When we are saying William Ruto must resign, we know and we understand why we are saying so. Reason being, do you know that young men and women, so-called genesis, who stormed the parliament that William Ruto called criminals. Are you sure they are alive? Those who are seen in cameras. Are you sure they are alive? At the same time, I want to tell you a secret today. Do you know that media houses are now fearing even to air such kind of news because they are being told by intelligent reports that the media houses are like fearing to air such kind of issues because they might lose the advertisements, jobs coming from the government of the day. And so to not to lose that advertisement opportunity, you could see even some media houses, they were not serious showing the demonstration again. Even the demonstration of 25th. The only media that was showing the demonstration in parliament, all over, live, through their mainstream, I saw it was KTM. But as you speak, Several media houses were fearing to show because they feared the repercussions and the consequences. But the truth of the matter is, the people were killed. 
Jesus wa kid. You could see mwingine alikuwa anapatikana ameoa ametupo kwa maji. Mwingine ameoa ametupo mahali. Watu wamewaoa all over. Yaani tumewaoa kama kuku. Reason being you are trying to tell the government of the day that what you are doing is not right. And because they have anger, they, they are killing us. They are killing us. I want to tell you today, nyinyi hamjui William Samoei Ruto. You don't know William Samoei Ruto. The man is so little. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, those who don't know William Ruto. You are just seeing William Ruto. Mnaona tu kwa TV. But the man is so little. And so then, I want to tell you today, it is so sad to see what is happening at City Mochari, Nairobi. Where now the numbers are 247. Then Miguna Miguna was right. And even he dared this a tweet. Miguna Miguna blocked me in Twitter. I was looking at the tweet that he said exact number. I don't know, 400 or 600 Jesus that were killed. But according to Miguna, he said that the bodies were cremated at the Kahawa barracks. But Kenya said, ah, Miguna hina wende wa zimu yake. But let me tell you, sometimes you can see Miguna ni, ni kama kichwa na buruka, hata mimi nafikiri yanga hivu. But some issues, Miguna huwa anataja na inafanyika. So for now, I know mungina hata elewa, umujiu Kenya tulirogua. Yani tunilaniwa totally. Utasika mungina anasema, hati hakuna kitu kama yu. And I told you here, wacha utapoteza mtoto yako, ndugu yako, sita yako, kwa maana maana polisi amepiga risasi ndio utasikia uchungu niliona mwingine anasema ati hakuna watu wakiwa na viburi wapigwe risasi i'm telling you watch your mouth mimi nimekuwa kwa hizo maandamano kama ya azimio i was in that maandamano i saw what how maandamano is so hectic maandamano is so hectic and again some are being killed even kwa balconies wamesimama wanaangalia vile watu wanapita hivi hapo risasi imepita hivi imelima mtu so it is not easy kenyans we are living in a country by that the freedom we are having someone is coming out to shatter it someone is behind the strength to shatter the freedom that we have because they know what they want to do the common mwananchi will not accept so I want to tell you here without any fear of contradiction the direction we are going kenyans if you elect william ruto as the president 2022 2027 at your own risk at your own risk i want to repeat see the election ya 2027 mujaribu muache akili zenu manyumbani na muende mvote kama amuna akili mpigie huyu jamaa tena kula mutajua hamujui mutajui mutajua hamujui the truth is we are having commandship in the leadership of our country and when we are saying like this we are sober some are not even understanding jamani kenya ni nini tulirogwa ngoja mtoto yako atapotea ndio utajua what is happening in this country hmm Ngoja tu I'm not praying some, to someone to do to, to, something like that to happen but again kuna watu wanaongea ni kama they are brainless ni kama wana kill Kenyans I'm a blogger niko kwa ground na naona vitu zinafanyika so when we come here and we speak I record this video is something nimeona 1 2 3 Sije kama mnanielewa So our country is in danger. Our country is in danger. We are having thugs. Thugs who are leading our country. But when we are saying this, someone emotionally coming out to say, "Wewe kijana mdogo nyamaza hakuna kitu unajua." And I want to repeat here. 
you watu wanajifanya tisi tisi ni wazee wanajua everything you don't know anything i want to confirm to you you don't know anything and that is why when you are going to election you are electing crooks thugs who are leading our country then you want us to praise your thugs we will not praise your thugs i'm telling you me as boneface i will not praise thugs and i told you here very clear myself with my mind the way, the way what i know this little i will never support any william ruto agenda because the man has no idea of leading this country i will never support i will never even sell good agendas of william ruto here why i know who is william ruto and i told you here even when i start this channel i know who is william ruto but some individuals are feeling like mm -mm, i don't know anything let me tell you i, I lived in western gishu county before i came to nairobi i lived in western gishu for seven years kenyans you cannot convince me who is william ruto and i lived in a constituency where william ruto is coming from i lived where william ruto is coming from tarbo constituency and tarbo constituency is where william ruto is coming from sugoi i lived there i studied there you cannot convince me who is william ruto so when we come we live william ruto 10 at 2027 and i'm big here kura you know what you don't know hata hii freedom tunakuwa na hii jamaa atafunga hata media zote i'm telling you hata hii youtube sahi at least muna tusikiza atafunga huyu jamaa si mchezo you will close it why because you are giving him strength he's coming out legitimizing himself anawambia 1 2 3 tumepanga tumetenga muna mpigia makofi muna mpea nguvu but you don't know what this man is thinking so i'm telling you be careful be careful those people who are supporting william ruto be careful na nyinyi ndio atatangulia kuwakanyaga atawakanyaga sisi afadhali anajua tu msupport mtakanyaga kanyaga mimi hakuna mimi hakuna umaliti mimi hata leo raila odinga is my support i support raila odinga but siko ata declare is supporting william ruto william ruto's re-election 2027 i will never on that i will never i will never vote for william ruto because raila odinga has said it I'm a supporter of Raila Odinga. I'm a day hard supporter of Raila Odinga. But if Raila Odinga will come today, tell me that oh, now let us vote for William Ruto. I will never vote for William Ruto. And my reason is the man has no ideologies for this country. He has no issue that is going to make this Kenya to be better. You cannot portray a picture that you have ideas of developing this country yet the offices that are being filled these are thieves who are going around the other day they were having cases they have been cleared because they are the one to serve in those offices they want to serve in those offices so the only thing is doing is to do that but you can use you remain clapping and praising him And I want to tell you today can we change we as Kenyans can we change that if we are going to elect someone is is someone who understand our issues not his issues if people can be killed like that tomorrow they will wake up and kill us all of us ni mtu ataweka hata bomb ni wa pige why because the man does not have anything to deal with us sisi tuko tu hapo let me tell kama hii serikali walitengeneza na rigadi ya shago na rigadi ya shago ana tisho na rigadi ya shago is powerful is second in command is having all the apparatus security apparatus na natengwa mimi bonface mimi hata zina ofisi yote kenya who am i 
wewe unapiga propaganda kupiga mdomo hapo na kusema ati oh i don't know i'm young i don't know anything wewe uko na nini william ruto atakufinya kama sukuma kama cabbage and you do nothing so it is time to take our country into a right track i know some people will tell us how even if william ruto will not be removed today 2027 let this person go home let them go home waungane na raila wafanye nini waende nyumbani and that is why i'm telling raila do should not even support this man in 2027 wacha tuende nyumbani what do you think ladies and gentlemen it is so painful when you are told that no man has been killed i did not propaganda but as you speak 247 unidentified bodies lying on the city at the city mortuary what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till we meet in another video